Hey guys, how are you going? I just quickly want to show you how to use um, Sector Engage and how I'm just doing online lessons for Year 10 Science. Um, so if I, if I go into my um, Year 10 Science kind of program here, um, if I click on Planning, um, essentially I'm working on this because I'm switching a few things around, but I've done the first lesson, so we'll just kind of have a look at that. Um, so experimental skills, this is the standard kind of thing that we've done where you just write the, the unit outline. But what I've done is an online lesson for lesson one. So if you click on edit online lessons here, and the first lesson experimental skills, you've got a little cloud there. Um, so I've actually written this up as an online lesson, and the students can access this through sector engage. So this is how I'm trying to kind of share resources and things like that. The benefit of this is the students don't have to trawl through the share drive all the time. They can just go to this if I do it properly and they can get all the resources there. Obviously, I'll still be using this share drive as a, as a backup and having the stuff there too. But this is a lot cleaner. If I go here to student and guardian preview, this is what the students will see. So I've got kind of like a cool uh, black theme here. Um, so the first lesson is on experimental skills. So I've written what I want the students to see here and parents can see this too and obviously students that are home um, if they uh, miss your lesson you can just uh, kind of tell them to, to look at this and it's got everything there so I've just got a brief intro just saying hello obviously you talk to students as well and you teach them but um, this is there so they can kind of work independently um, just in case you know they might need your support but you're busy with someone else so the first button is the experimental skills handout, which I've kind of done here. I'll just move that into view. No, wait, oh, that's the one here. So this is the worksheet that I want them to do as a group. Um, I cut off, it, it was a bit longer, but I cut it off. Um, I would have this printed for them as well. And I mean, they can print it, but um, you can also just get them to, to work on it online if you want. So I've recommended that they use this as a resource. So these two buttons, you click on them and it downloads the resource and then the students will have access to it. So this is a reference for writing practical reports. If they have issues with what an independent variable is, they can read it there um, as opposed to Googling it. So that's basically it. Um, that, that's how they access the work. You do the work, you go through the solutions, which I'll put um, in sector as well and in the shared drive. And then I've set the student's homework. Now the homework can be set through here as well. There's a thing on the bottom. Sorry, I'm just going back here. Online lessons. My, uh, my screen's just a little bit, hold on. Here we go. So there's a homework thing here too. Um, and I've put the homework in, but I've also put it on this one here. So the homework is a video. So I just want them to watch this YouTube video on an experiment that we're going to do in class. They watch the video, see how it goes, and then I've just set four questions here for them to do in their books. And then first, um, your next lesson, you just check the homework straight away. So I want to use that more often, just wanted to show you how it works. If you have any questions, just email me or just pop into my office and uh, chat to me. Cheers.